What's up, Mopar fam? I hope everybody out there is having a blessed day. It's almost Christmas time, that's for sure. And that's why we're going to do a review on a new product that I got sent to us to test out. And I've actually been using this thing a lot lately, and it helps out big time. Most of you guys can probably tell that we are inside Frostbite Holler. This is my 2017 Ram 2500 Cummins. And this is the Tradesman model, which is basically the bare bones as far as extras and extra bells and whistles goes. Um, this truck does not have a 110 outlet. Um, like Frostbite, my race truck, it actually has a 110 outlet on it, but that's the RT edition. So it has a lot more bells and whistles to go along with it. But however, this truck does not have a 110 outlet. Um, it just has your 12 volt socket plugs and the radio has an auxiliary hookup and USB hookup, but that's about it. There's no 110 outlet in this truck to be able to plug in, you know, like a laptop or anything like that. And as most of you guys know, I'm using a laptop a lot at the racetrack, racing events and stuff like that for my data logging, um, looking over data, uh, reviewing tunes, changing stuff here and there. So a 110 outlet is a big thing for me to have. And this product actually gives me two 110 outlets plus a lot more. So this thing's really cool. We're going to check it out real quick. This is a 300 watt power inverter from Homey Life. This power inverter gives you two 110 outlets and two USB outlets as well. And it's really inexpensive. This is a great little power inverter to throw in the glove box carry along in your car or whatever and again i've been using it like crazy at the track already to power my laptop and charge my cell phone up and or cameras as well like my gopros that run on a usb cord or whatnot this thing works really good um, it's relatively pretty small as you can see not it's not a very big unit so it's it's perfect for carrying along you can throw it in a glove box under a seat whatever and very simple to use you just plug it into one of the 12 volt power sockets, like a cigar lighter, cigarette lighter plug, a 12 volt receptacle, whatever. And then on the front, you can see you have two 110 outlets and then two USB outlets. And one of them is actually a three amp USB outlet for a fast charge feature. Um, I've actually plugged my cell phone into this thing at the track. Um, actually, when we were at Mo Party, I used it, plugged my cell phone into this thing and it charges your cell phone super fast. So that is an awesome feature to have the three amp outlet on here for the USB. Um, the other USB is actually a 2.4 amp outlet. So it's pretty quick too, but that three amp outlet definitely is much quicker as far as charging stuff goes. Um, definitely an awesome feature there. But biggest thing about this is, like I said, I can plug this thing into uh, my Ram truck right here that does not have any 110 outlets plug it into the 12 volt socket and then it gives me two 110s plus some extra USB outlets. Um, that way I can run my laptop, charge a phone or charge a GoPro or camera or anything like that that I'm using at the racetrack that day. This thing definitely helps out and I'm really loving it. I'm actually going to um, try to decide exactly where I'm going to hard mount this thing. Um, I'm probably going to put some 3M tape on the back and stick it on the side of my lower console down here. That way it's pretty much just, you know, ready to go. Um, I can plug it in and then plug anything into it that I need to use and I'm good to go. So again, this is my, my Ram 2500. This is the Tradesman Edition uh, 2017. And there's no 110 power outlets. All we have are 12 volt socket plugs. And there's one also in my console right here as well. Um, but nowhere to plug in 
you know, like a laptop uh, like that has a 110 power feature. So we don't have that on the Tradesman. So what I've been doing with this guy, this 300 watt power inverter from Home Life, is how I've been using I've just been laying it down there in my console like that. And I just keep it, um, I actually keep this thing under the back seat or the glove box usually. And when I need it, I just lay it down right there. And then I plug it into this socket. And this socket always has 12 volts uh, ready to go. You don't have to have the key in the ignition or the key on. Um, so if I'm parked at the racetrack, I can just simply turn this thing on. And you'll see now we have a green light. So this thing is on and I can plug in my laptop, plug in my cell phones, cameras, whatever. And it is going to run them. Um, so that's pretty much how I've been using it. And again, for running my laptop, charging up cameras or my cell phone real quick when we're at these race events, uh, this thing has actually been a lifesaver. Um, otherwise, what I have to do is usually I have my generator there and I have to plug in to my generator, um, which is kind of a little aggravating. Plus, my equipment's out in the weather. This way, I can actually keep everything inside the truck. Um, so if it starts to rain or anything, everything's inside the truck. I don't have to worry about it getting wet. Um, but yeah, that's basically how I've been using it. And again, so far, this thing's been working great. Jam up. And it's, like I said, very inexpensive. Um, I believe it's around 30 bucks for that thing. Well worth the money for sure. Just a quick little review on the Homie Life 300 watt power inverter um, that I'm using to power my laptop. Uh, because, unfortunately, the Tradesman model trucks does not have a 110 power outlet, uh, which is kind of a bummer, but not the end of the world. Again, this thing is very small. You can pretty much put it anywhere in your car or your truck, plug it in, and you have two 110 power outlets plus a couple USBs. So definitely not the end of the road. There's always a way around it. And uh, again, this thing's been working great for me at the racetrack to keep my laptop going and my cameras going and just basically get me through the day when I need some 110 power on the run. So we're gonna wrap it up right there, guys. Um, if you're interested in this exact power inverter that I'm using right now, I'll have the link in the description below. So you can click on that link. It'll take you right to the Amazon store that sells it. And again, it's pretty cheap. I think they're only about $30. And my opinion for sure, well worth the money. Um, like I said, I've been running my laptop on it, charging cameras and my phone with it. And as far as that goes, it's a great little product that is very inexpensive to do just that. So if you don't have a 110 power outlet in your vehicle to run your laptops or whatever, um, that is a great little gadget to get it done. So as always, guys, stay safe out there, and we'll see you on the next one.